Hello everyone, hope you're great. Uh, recently I did a presentation and uh, I talked about how I, at the beginning of it, I talked about how I kind of um, build programs and how I develop my programming and my thoughts and philosophies behind that. And I like to use analogies when I break down more complex um, topics so that I can simplify it, so that I, even I can understand it because I'm not that smart. So I like to break it down and I think if I break this down, you might benefit from it as well. So whenever I look at a, a, a program or what I'm going to develop, the first thing I need to do is understand the game demands. Okay, And when we look at the game demands, the three main things I look at are the biomotor abilities, the biodynamics, and the bioenergetics. So the biomotor qualities is essentially what are the main qualities that are needed or important for your sport. So we can look at things like speed, strength, um, we can look at work capacity, flexibility, um, coordination. Uh, it could, it could be more, but um, they're the main ones. And each, each one of those categories will have subcategories. For example, strength could be max strength, um, explosive strength, speed strength, um, strength endurance. Okay. So analyze your sport, work out what biomotor abilities are important for your sport. Okay. What are the qualities that are going to be needed to make you successful? Then we can look at biodynamics, and essentially this is broken down to biokinetics and biokinematics. Okay, and for me, there's just fancy words for what are the movements that are occurring in your sport, uh, what ranges of motions are these movements occurring, um, and how are these movements being um, uh, created? Okay, what kind of contractions are being used to create these, these, these movements? And then I like to use things like Bondarchuk classifications and uh, Verkashansky's dynamic principles or dynamic correspondence so that we can break down these movements and um, create a hierarchy so we, we have a better understanding of what's going to transfer and what's going to provide general adaptations. We can then look at the bioenergetics. For me, this is just looking at the dominant energy systems that are going to be important to optimize your sport. And obviously there's the lactic, there's the aerobic, and there's the glycolytic. And I've talked about these um, energy systems in previous talks. But what are the important energy systems needed for your sport? How are you going to program for that? Okay. So for me, that is your destination. That is what we're trying to train to, and that's what we're trying to get. Okay. But before we go on a journey anywhere, you need to know where your starting point is. Okay. And your starting point is really, really important because that's going to be what kind of things that you're going to dictate to in your programs. For example, what is your age of your athletes? What is their training age of your athletes? What is, is the weaknesses? What is their strengths? What is their injury history? What phase of training are they at? Okay, so for me, this is a starting point. Now, I like to use the analogy that we're trying to push through and get to a through to a spot in the jungle. That's the des destination. And to get to the destination, there's all this jungle we have to get through, and that's the starting point we just talked about then. So, we're starting point, destination. Okay. Now, to get through this jungle, we need to use a bunch of tools. Okay, to break through and get there. Okay, and for me, tools are simple, it's just methods that we use. Okay, and methods are essentially just um, tools that we use to produce stress on the athlete, and then this stress is trying to um, create adaptations that are going to be important qualities for your sport. Okay, so this is just strength training, this is just speed work, medicine ball training, plyometrics, jump training, um, accessories, okay, etc. Now, you can have all these methods and you can be pushing through the jungle, but we still can go through blindly and we still can get lost. So if you have a map or a route, so you know where you're going, you can then use your methods and go straight to this, through this jungle to your destination in the most direct fashion. And for me, these, um, this route or this map is my principles, okay? And I've talked about my principles before. Most people will know about these, but just to quickly go over them, this is just things like general to specific, uh, low intensity to high intensity, extensive to intensive, um, slow to fast, um, technique before load, etc., etc. Okay. So, endpoint, destination, biomotor abilities, uh, biodynamics, bioenergetics, starting point. Where's your athlete starting at? Okay. Break, pushing through the jungle is your methods, and the map and the route is your principles. Um, and that is how I program my sports, and that is my reasoning and my thoughts behind it. I hope that helps. Um, if it does, 
share it and get it out there. Thank you.